In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent package for Sublime Text called SQL Tools that allows you to invoke SQL commands directly in the editor. So if I jump over to Sublime Text, what I'm going to do first of all is to show you some of the configurations that I've done ahead of this recording. So I'm going to launch the control panel. If you type st colon after you've installed the plugin, you see all of the Sublime, uh, sorry, the SQL Tools commands. And before we get too far into things, I'll show you the way that they do the keyboard shortcuts, which is to chain together a number of controls. So for instance, control E, control E is execute, control E, control H is history. So I'll be using those commands throughout the rest of this recording. But before we get too far into things, I want to show you my connections. So I have uh, MAMP Pro running on my laptop. I have a number of Moodle installations. And so the first thing that I've done is to configure uh, the plugin so that it can connect to each of those databases. There are three of them here. They all happen to be SQL, sorry, MySQL, uh, but you'll notice that the boilerplate that the plugin provides you has the ability to connect to other database types, including Postgres, etc. So that's the sort of setting the scenes piece. If I now go to connect to my databases, I'm going to use that execute command, control E, control E, and you'll notice that it lists my three databases. So let me connect to the first of these. Nothing too interesting appears to have happened other than the screen has become split. But now I can use some of those other uh, SQL tool commands that you saw listed previously to start to look at the data within the database. So for instance, a really good starting point is Control E, Control D, which allows you to inspect your databases. And it lists them all for you here, all the various tables. And if I go to using uh, Sublime Text, of course, I can use the fuzzy search feature. So I'm just going to search for the user table, select that, and it gives me a description of that table, all of the fields, the data types, etc, etc. I can use Control E to Control S to actually look at the data within the tables. So again, if I look to the Moodle user table, I can see all that data displayed lower down. But now I'm connected up, I can actually start to run SQL commands as well. So you notice because I'm in Sublime Text, I've got it set to the SQL syntax. It's pretty printing, that's a good start. But the other thing that it's really good at is it knows my databases. So if I start to type, for instance, Moodle underscore, it's listing them all here. And again, I can use the um, fuzzy search to find the database I want. Choose that. And now I'm going to do Control E, Control E. And I get that data. Control E, Control E. So you can see it's very, very responsive. As well as knowing the data tables, it also knows the fields within the data tables. So for instance, if I want to restrict it to show me um, where username is dbird, I can start to type user. You'll notice that it lists every table and every field within every table. Really powerful. So it's actually basically cached all of the, the table structures. And I can choose the one that I'm interested in. Continue writing my query. And then execute it, Control E, Control E. Now the other handy thing, of course, is if you make syntactical errors, you get immediate feedback. And I've got my limit command still in here, so I'll get rid of that. Control E, E. There we go. So you can see it's really very responsive. Um, the other features that I really like about it, well, first of all, because it pretty prints everything, it's very easy to read, but it has inbuilt um, SQL Beautifier, which is Control E, Control B. Um, whilst this is a pretty short bit of SQL, when you get to more complicated stuff, that can be really, really handy. The other really neat feature is at history. So Control E, Control H gives you a full history of your previous SQL commands. So really, really powerful tool, um, it, particularly for someone like myself who's just honestly learning SQL. It's a great way 
to be able to very rapidly test and apply your SQL and know that you've got the syntax correct.